so we'll commission to build a sign for a boardroom with a bunch of standoff letters here. So I'm going to try to find a way to make this $2 pen here turn into a plotter pen for my CNC router so I can make a paper template. Uh, <clears throat> should be fairly simple. There's just a couple parts. I already know that that pen will slide up and down in that little tube stem there. So it's just a matter of reversing it. I'm assuming we can put the spring on the other side. I think that little bit of play right there is well more than enough. It's not like I'm climbing up and down on anything major that's been 3D carved. And uh, just find a way to keep that spring from sitting in there like that, I guess. We're going to maybe crimp it or something, I'm thinking. Not thinking I'm going to be needing this here little clippity do thing. It's probably just going to get in the way when I figure out a way to clamp this thing, so I might as well pull that off. Just remember, give those pliers a couple little test clicks all the time. You gotta calibrate them. They're just like the barbecue tongs. Maybe that's got her. I think we're in action. All right, minor setback. Don't give up. All right, I knew there was a reason why I ripped that piece off. I bet you that's going to help. So it seems like it should work. <clears throat> you want to be really conservative when you're cutting this pen up. The last thing you want is to have to cut off too much and find a way to jam some junk between that and the spring. <clears throat> so it'd take a few tries if you got to, I believe, and slow and easy wins the race. I only got one of these pens, so I really don't want to mess it up. We might have her. Ah, it took another try. But that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> you can see the uh, spring right in there. It's on a little bit of an angle, but it's doing its thing. The tube is holding the spring from bending right over. I think it's safe to say that uh, phase one is complete. Looking pretty good. So here we are, phase two. Uh, what we're going to be doing here, scrap two by three. Let's cut a V into this thing here to hold the pen. Basically, you're going to set that saw blade on a 45, find about center. Turn the saw on, give it a cut, flip it 180, cut the other side. <clears throat> you're going to be looking for a V groove, kind of about like that. Uh, I'm going to be making the other side a little bit bigger as it's going to have to straddle the router. We'll move that on up and move the fence again. Half of that I do believe is about inch and a quarter. 
I'm not really trying to make this super duper technical here. Uh, I was just looking for a basic saddle. And I, uh, well, I put a couple bevels on her there just to make sure that the hose clamp tightened up around everything nice and neat. Off to the little skill saw. We'll give her a buck. And there we go. Off to the router now to try clamping all this stuff together. That should fit the, fit the bill, I'm going to say. Give her a little snug in here, and everything seems kind of solid. A slight bit of play at the very bottom there, but that uh, pen's got some beautiful tension on it. We're going to whip up a, a quick little dilly-dally, set up a tool path. I'm going to go 20 thousandths of an inch from the top of material. I think that should be enough pressure. Bang, boom, bing, over we go. Push start. See what this thing does. Well, look at that. <clears throat> I'm going to say we've got a desktop plotter. 48 inch by 48 inch now. Um, going to be making that banner on some meat packing paper. I've got a whole roll of it, so I figured it'd be easier than trying to tape a whole bunch of little pieces of paper together to make eight feet. But, uh, no, it's going pretty slick. It is amazing how quiet this thing is. How satisfying to watch. I'm going to say this will fit the bill just fine. I can, uh, next video you'll have to check it out. I'm going to be drawing out that sign and learning how to do some tiles. Uh, anyway, peace out.